we saw many battles after that day. A young boy had joined us as a soldier. Griffith. What's that? They were the boy's belongings. Griffith? He so badly wanted to be a knight. I remember this boy well. When he looked at me, his eyes filled with wonder, as though I were a hero. Was he happy, I wonder? He died while pursuing his dream. But I think it was my dream that killed him. I've never seen a proud man's shoulders sink so low. Before that day, I had never seen Griffith depressed. From that moment on, Griffith seemed different to me. It was a few days after we had returned from that battle, after nightfall. No! You cannot be serious! <gasps> Koska, why don't you join me? Well, I... Uh, I'm not... You think I'm disgusting? I don't! Why... Why were you there last night? I know. I took it the wrong way. It was something else. It was a meeting for the War Council, wasn't it? I mistook it. No. Eh? There was no mistake. Why would you do that with him? For the money. Maintaining an army is quite costly. Soldiers, horses, provisions and equipment. None of these are free. The hawks will grow even larger and so will their expenses. I must help my army grow. And that I'm afraid takes tremendous funds. So I found someone who is as interested in me as I am in his substantial fortune. So we have come to an agreement. Even so, you can't! Why can't things just stay as they are? I know we could earn the money you need, we just have to keep winning! That would take a tremendous amount of time, and the more battles we fight, the more people we lose. <gasps> You're thinking about that boy, aren't you, Griffith? I'm not. I came to this conclusion rationally. Which is the lesser risk for me? Losing hundreds of my men in tens of battles? Or receiving what I need from some rich old man? Listen, Casca. I feel no responsibility to those comrades who've lost their lives in my service. Because they chose to fight those battles. Just as you chose. Just as I. Griffith? Just as I have chosen this. <sighs> but if there is one thing I can do for them, for the dead, it is to win and keep winning until I attain my dream, a dream they clung to and risked their lives for. I can't just step over the bones of the dead in order to realize it. My dream... My dream is already smeared with blood. I don't regret, I don't feel guilty, but I'd rather sacrifice myself than watch any more innocent children die in the name of my dream.
It's all right. It was nothing. Griffith had already recovered himself by the time he put his hand on my shoulder. But the sadness wouldn't leave me. Griffith has a dream that he refuses to abandon, while most people have forgotten about their own dreams long ago. It is great.